There is a dying man and he turns to his wife and he says, Honey, you've been with me through all of my troubles, through all of my bad times, you've been there. When I got fired from my job, when I had my heart attack and when we lost our house, you were right there by my side. You know something? I think that you're bad luck. Before Alexandra Daddario would star in a pandemic-themed film amid the current pandemic the world is currently going through, before Alexandra Daddario would release a thirst trap on her YouTube page to encourage people to vote. What's your favorite position? I mean on the ballot initiatives. Before Alexandra Daddario would have over 510,000 subscribers on YouTube, over 887,000 on Twitter, and 18.2 million on Instagram at the time of this recording, Alexandra Daddario was born in New York City where she attended high school at an all-girls school before getting her first role to pad up her resume in the popular soap opera All My Children. She starred in a whole slew of TV series and had small roles in movies until she got her breakout role in the Percy Jackson movies and her role in HBO's True Detective, where she decided to bear it all. What's going on guys? It's your girl Azalea Hart, here for you on Before They Were Famous, documenting the life of Alexandra Daddario prior to fame. We have done videos on similar actors, so make sure you check those out when you're finished watching this one. In the meantime, let me know in the comments down below who you want to see a video on. Be sure to follow us on Instagram at Before They Were Famous, and feel free to follow me too at Azalea Zoe. Let's get into this story, and I'll see you after the intro. Hey, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell. Boom! Alexandra Ann Daddario was born on March 16, 1986 in New York, New York. Both her parents working in law, her mother, Christina, a lawyer, and her father, Richard, a federal prosecutor in New York City for 13 years before being named head of the NYC Police Department's Anti-Terrorism Bureau. She has Italian, Irish, Hungarian, and Slovak ancestry. She's the eldest of her parents' three children, but she isn't the only one with some fame under her belt. Her brother is actor Matthew Daddario, who you may know from Shadowhunters, and her sister is actor Catherine Daddario, most recently from Monstrous. Her grandfather was Congressman Emilio Daddario of Connecticut. As a child, she thought of becoming a lawyer like her parents, and her mother would tell her, you can do anything you want, except be a lawyer. Her mom used to model when she was younger before entering law school, and both her parents saw that even though it was a rough ride, acting ultimately made Alex the happiest. Hey up, Reesiders. She could have starred in the real life version of Gossip Girl because she was raised on Manhattan's Upper East Side and wanted to be an actress for as long as she can remember. When she was around 13 years old, she auditioned for a Got Milk ad for chocolate milk. The concept for the commercial would be her and a boy, which was already foreign to her because she went to an all girls school, and she had only kissed one boy at that point in her life. I know, you're wondering why I'm talking about her kissing boys. Well, the concept, like I was saying, was she would have chocolate syrup in her mouth and the boy would have milk in his mouth. You see where I'm going with this? Well, they would make out and then come up from their makeout stash with chocolate milk mustaches and then say the line, got milk? Or I guess, got chocolate milk? Anyway, she told Interview Magazine that it was nerve wracking, but also exciting to be able to make out with a boy because she only saw girls all the time at school. She added in that she's absolutely positive that her parents had no idea that that's what the audition would entail. Although her family was, if not rich, very well off, when she was 15, she worked in an ice cream shop before she got her go at acting. Another odd job of hers was being a hand model in a Barbie commercial that only aired in China. If I could go back in time and tell my 16-year-old self one piece of advice, I, I would tell her to not be as afraid and, you know, be confident and believe in myself. And I think that that's something that sort of comes with age and, you know, it was wasted on the young, I guess. When Alexandra was 16 years old, she got transferred from Brewery All Girls School to the Professional Children's School in New York so she could better focus on her acting skills. She said she's always loved storytelling and it was always something she's genuinely wanted to do. Speaking on her privilege, she said that she could have done anything because she said she had every opportunity on the planet. At this time, she landed her first gig in All My Children. She played Lori Lewis, a teen victimized in high school, but doing her best to handle it. Even though she was young and inexperienced, she brought a good charm to the role. Her first day was quite unique as being a day player. She didn't get her own dressing room, but ended up sharing the one left by Kelly Ripa. During this time, there were major on-set and behind-the-scenes conflicts with producers and writers, and a decision was made to move the storyline away from the adults in the show and focus more on the teenage characters. This ended up backfiring, and the show's ratings plummeted. In less than a year, a new showrunner was added, and they let go of most of the teenage stars, including Alexandra. 
She was in 43 episodes. It wasn't all bad news for this blue-eyed beauty though because she said she played such a good girl in the show that it became boring for her. But she was afraid to approach the writers and ask for her storyline to be shaken up a bit. Either way, she was let go and free to pursue other opportunities. She went on to appear in Law & Order in 2004, 2005, 2006, and 2009. And then she had a short stint appearing in other TV series like It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia in 2005 and White Collar in 2009. She also attended Marymount Manhattan College before landing the role of Annabeth in the Percy Jackson movies in 2010 and reprising her role again in 2013. She dropped out to pursue acting full time. In between filming the Percy Jackson sequel, she appeared in American Horror Story Hotel and starred in Hall Pass in 2011. She starred in the music video for Imagine Dragons song Radioactive in 2012, which surpassed a billion views on YouTube and starred in Texas Chainsaw 3D in 2013. She also gained attention for her role in the first season of HBO's True Detective in 2014, where she appeared in four episodes as Lisa Trinetti, a court reporter, having an extramarital affair with one of the main characters. But it was her nude scenes that attracted did most attention. She then went on to film San Andreas alongside Dwayne The Rock Johnson in 2015 and of course Baywatch in 2017, also with Dwayne Johnson. The girl's putting in work. Do you just uh, look at my boobs? I was not my intention. I didn't... Uh... Testing. Oh, failed. When it came to her nude scenes in True Detective, Alex said she knew the risk she was taking. She said, I didn't expect it to take off the way that it took off. I was actually kind of afraid of getting naked and what that would mean but I was willing to take that risk because of the people that I would have the opportunity to work with. So no, I wasn't aware of what it was going to do for my career to the extent that it did or that it was as unique as it was. Taking a quick look at her romantic life, she has also dated a couple of her co-stars, including Logan Lerman, who played Percy Jackson. I read that they were actually also engaged, but they broke up in 2015. She was also rumored to be in a relationship with Zac Efron, who she starred alongside in Baywatch, but neither of them confirmed this claim. They kind of both said that they're just really good friends. I mean, I wouldn't be mad at that. In her earlier years, she dated Jason Fuchs from 2006 to 2009 and was also in another rumored relationship with Trey Songs, who she starred alongside in Texas Chainsaw in 2011. As for what's next for Alexandra Daddario, well, I think we'll end this video right here. After all, this is Before They Were Famous. What did you think of Alex's story? Comment down below and let me know. Plus, tell me who you'd like to see in the next video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Now we drop a new video each and every day, so here's a recent drop that you might enjoy. We handpicked that one for you because if you like this video, you'll probably like that. We also got playlists like over here, so click on that if you want to see a whole list of a bunch of videos we've dropped in the past. And if you're new to the Fame Gang, be sure to subscribe and turn on them post notifications, and I'll see you guys in another video.